You got to get a hold of yourself, Geraldine. But I'm going to help you, Doctor. You see, it starts every month about this time. What starts? The music. That is last composition. I hear it being played on the piano, and the notes seem to come from the old house. That's what David got in the fire. Well, perhaps somebody is playing that piece on the piano. Someone on the other. No, no, there's only one other house out here, and those people are away. And the dog, a dog keeps howling all night long. What dog? I don't know. There's no dog on the island, but David and I did have a dog, remember? He stayed with David the night of the fire. He died with him because David was too ill to get out of bed. Yeah. That compounded dog is tied up around here somewhere. 
No, we didn't mean that. I meant the light on the road. It's a strange light on the road. It's the headlight of a car coming this way. A car? Yeah, and guess what? Find the house and stay out of sight. It's turning into the driveway. How could a car come out onto the island? It's a picture. They're getting out. And that's what we found in the water the last time we were out here. 
Oh, Laura, I hope, I hope you're wrong. So do I. But if I'm right, we're all in for a... Where are you going? 
I go into the fire, Jerry. I've got to stop it. I've got to put it out. I'm going to lose my mind if somebody doesn't stop these awful things from happening. Well, anybody knows. Easy, Geraldine. The man who hopes to kill you is trying to break you down first. It's part of his plan. Here, take a sip of this brandy. It'll help me. Oh, all right, thank you, Doctor. What's the matter? Oh, not, nothing really. I just don't care for any brandy just now. Well, what's wrong with it? Well, I didn't say anything was wrong with it. I just don't. You fool. You think I'm trying to poison you? I don't know what to think. Here, give me that brandy. I'll pick it myself. Oh, hey, there. Believe me now? I don't believe anyone. Listen to me, Geraldine. I'm the best friend you have in the world right now. You've got to understand that. Besides, there isn't much more time. We've got to get away from Harvey while he's still out there. What do you mean? Well, can't you see? He's trying to kill you. That's a lie! It isn't, Geraldine. Harvey's the one that's still lied to us. He and Harvey both. They did it to kill you when the lights went out. But in the darkness, Harvey made a fatal mistake. He thought it was you who was stranded, not both. I won't believe that! It's the truth. They never built across the bridge at 9 o'clock tonight. They've been here on the island all evening. How do you know? Because we saw that bridge with our own eyes. And I saw it again just five minutes ago. It's still down. You're lying! Come out and see for yourself. You're just trying to get me out of this house. Stop being such a fool. Here, take this gun. We'll give you any security. Take it. Hold it to my back while we're out there. But for heaven's sake, let's get away from Harvey while there's still a chance. All right. Give me the gun. Here. Now, you keep in front of me all the time. And I'm warning you, if you make one false move, Kill my cold blood! You see? Harvey and Laurel lied to us. The bridge is still down. Yeah, it couldn't have come across that bridge. Of course not. The only trouble is, we can't get back over it now either. We've got to get away, Doctor. Now, before we're seen. We might have a boat. Oh, what about the house at the other end of the island? The people are away. Well, but they might have a boat. Yes, of course they do have a boat. We can run to the lane then. Come on, quick! All right. I have a feeling we're being followed. It's your imagination. Hurry, Jody, hurry. Oh! Oh! We are being followed, Doctor. Look behind us, there's a man with a dog. Good heavens. Just like the dog you own, the one that died in the fire. Yes, and the man. It's dead.
Yes, dear old lady. I'm out of this house to protect you from David and the dog. Well, stop it! Stop playing that piece! Stop it! You didn't know that they would come back to life, did you, Joe? Now, stay where you are! Stay! Don't be afraid. I won't harm you. As long as you have that gun. But the gun won't stop David. David's dead. Is he? Listen. Oh! Oh! He's right outside the door. In a moment, he'll be here to take you with him. No! Yes, Joe. I come back to see you in spite of everything. Yeah. Stop! Stop! You killed me, didn't you, darling? You started that fire because you knew I was too much of an invalid to get out of bed. Stand me up! You hated me, Gerald. Stop! No. Your bullets can't harm me now. Nothing you can do can harm me. Because I'm dead, and you're still alive. David, oh, David, uh, please forgive me. I didn't know what I was doing that night. Please, please believe me. I was so sorry as soon as I started that fire. But it was too late then. I couldn't put it out. I just couldn't. I... How dare you? How dare you ask my forgiveness when you're still alive? But I'm not alive. I'm not. I told you everything. Why didn't you tell the police? Because I wanted to live. You'll confess everything now? Oh, oh, yes, David. Yes, I will. If you'll only leave me alone, please, please. It was my cigarette case that Laura found in the water. I threw it over the bridge that same night. My friend took it out of the fire. I. Well, I guess that's all we need, Harvey, for confession with two witnesses. Harvey! Yes, Geraldine. I do look like my brother is still alive. And the dog, Laura's holding outside, is the same breed as the one we moved. Laura? Laura, did you say Laura was alive? Very much so, Geraldine. It wasn't hard for me to pretend being dead, with the doctor keeping me away from my body. Then you were all in this together. You forced this confession out of me. Yes, Geraldine. The blank cartridges Dr. Pricing slipped into that gun of yours really turned the trick.
with the accent on powder. <laughs> Thank you for 
Sporty Basket, um, and we appreciate it. <laughs> I'd like to present a check for $1,300, the receipts from this weekend show, to Karina for the program. That brings us well over $6,000 that we've been able to donate since we've been doing this. Thank you so much to some of our stars and to the audience for attending. We have been able to add so many more enrichments to our program to great kids like Cabana. So thank you. <laughs> and now we can all of you to meet our wonderful actors outside to get their autographs and say goodbye until next time. We'll see you back in June. <laughs>